In this video, I'm going to show us how to download the layout file that's in the SketchUp, or sorry, in the reverse engineering assignment. So, first of all, going in here, this layout file is the file we're going to use to place all of our either catapult, ballista, or jewelry tree parts. Now, if we go into the assignment, on the bottom it says reverse engineering layout. This is the layout file we have to download. So, we're going to click on this. That's going to download it down here to our toolbar if we're in Chrome. And then I'm going to make my a window, a smaller window, so I can click and drag and drop that. I want to click and drag and drop that into, uh, for you it would be your H drive on your desktop. For me it's going to be my um, save folder. So, and actually in my save folder, I'm going to put it in my 8th grade T specifically. So, clicking, dragging, dropping. Now I have that reverse engineering layout file there. So once I get it there, I'm going to open it up. And if you forgot to save it in the right spot, or if you just accidentally clicked and opened it up from the browser, the important part is you can do a file save as and move it to the H drive into your 8th grade IT folder if you have a folder there. So I'm going to click OK. Do not show those meshes again if you don't want to see it over and over and over again. And then we'll have our layout file. The first thing you can do is come in and double click and enter your name. The rest of the stuff should be there. And we can also uh, adjust our date, but our date should be adjusted by because of the date um, it, it auto adjusts. So the next thing is I'm going to bring my files in by doing a file. And then I want to do an insert. Mine are in my save folder. They're in my 8th grade IT. And I'm going to use my jewelry tree files. So open. I'm just going to place it in there. Right now I'm actually just going to leave that. For right now I'm going to file insert all three of mine. Jury tree two. And then one more. File insert. Jury tree five. Now that I got all the files that I was responsible for imported into or inserted into layout, the next thing I'm going to do is go through and adjust to make sure they're right. So first of all, by right-clicking the model, making sure that you have one selected, um, I come in and I do a scale. And in that scale, I'm going to do a full size. And then lastly, I'm going to come over here and go to my SketchUp model. Yours won't be highlighted yet, but you select that arrow and it expands it. Uh, and then hit Styles, and then deselect the background. And then we'll be able to see that file through it. Now, you if you see that bottom file, don't worry, we're going to do that for all of them. So now I'm going to click on the next one down below. And I can move this top one around if I want to, just to kind of move it out of the way. As long as it fits inside the border here. Select this one. Once again, right-click. Go to scale, go to full size, in full size. After that, I come in to my SketchUp model and deselect the background. Notice it was already kind of taken care of for me, so I'm moving that over. And I have one more file to do. The file right here. Right click, scale, one to one. And then lastly, deselect my background. Now that I have all three of my pieces there, um, one of the things I can do is just make sure I can see all three. All right, uh, I could delete my guidelines in my other files and then update them by doing a update model reference, uh, which will give me them without them uh, the guidelines in there. But I don't mind them being there either. I'm just making sure they're not interfering with each other. Lastly, I want to do a file save just to make sure I have the last thing saved, and then to get it the, in the right. Uh, type of document, I'm going to do a file export PDF. Uh, once again, this making sure this is going to your H drive in your 8th grade IT folder. Um, and then this is a PDF, so I have it in the right format, save as type PDF, and hit save. Hit export, and now that PDF file is placed there. The last thing you have to do is do a email um, that talks about what you did to make the project and send that to your parents and myself for turn in. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day.